A public rally was held today near the Koskoma public grounds in support of Nama Rajapaksa, the presidential candidate of the Sri Lanka Podujana Perumuna. Today, many people are discussing how they removed the fuel queues, stopped power cuts and other issues. The truth is, there was no money to remove fuel queues before Gotabe Rajapaksa's departure and before he left, he did not manage to find the necessary funds. There was a reason for his departure. Gotabe Rajapaksa was supposed to decide whether to protect the government or the state. He did not make a decision, so we will advance the government and protect the state. Bangladesh is a good example. Bangladesh did not face an economic crisis. In the end, what happened? Clearly, there are conspirators who want to undermine leaders focused on nationalism in our country and our region. Gotabe Rajapaksa's government fell victim to such a conspiracy. We were advised not to follow nationalism but to go in the direction that the current situation demands. Even if the 13th Amendment was enacted, there was no need to follow the current direction. Plans were made to gather votes. No, we cannot agree to that. Even if we go to the north, I clearly state that there will be no police and land powers given. Why would we lie? We cannot make false promises. Those who said there would be no increase in salaries or taxes two or three months ago are now talking about increasing salaries by 50,000 rupees. Those who said electricity tariffs could not be reduced are now issuing cabinet papers to reduce them. Making decisions based on petty political motives will not bring justice to the future generations of this country. It could be politically disadvantageous for us, but we are not ready to make any decisions that harm the country and we are stating that very clearly.